right YouTube, so welcome to another video. Uh, this is going to be a long old day for me. It's time to do some detailing, uh, amongst other things, to get the car ready for Jackfest Silverstone, which is about a week away. Uh, today is pretty cloudy, hopefully going to stay dry, so probably the best day to do it. But I've got a few other things to do. If you saw the last video, you would see that those dressed up washers I've got on those splitter um, support bars have just, I don't know what they've done, they've just fallen apart. So I've got a few left over. So I'm going to try lacquer them this time, see if that protects them. Can't hurt to try. So I need to ping the bumper off to replace them, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I need to, I want to take the alloys off, give them a proper clean. Um, I'll be detailing the car, clay bar in it, ceramic coat in it. And I've got to redo a lot of the pinstripe tape on the splitters and side skirts as well. So yeah, it's going to be a real long old day. But before we start, <laughs> I'm strangely proud of my space saving bike mountain. If I can get my phone far enough away. Yeah, I'm strangely proud of that. <laughs> the garage is coming together. I've got loads of stuff all sort of stacked up. So yeah, there's still a lot to do. But yeah, it's getting there. Um, I, I think the bumper I'm dreading the most. I've done it before, but I just, I can just feel some clips breaking. So yeah, let's go and get started then, shall we? All right, hopefully I've got everything out I'm gonna need. And the most important thing, coffee. So yeah, if you didn't see the last video, these are the little buggers I need to replace. It's like the coating's just, peeling off and it's just like some weird white corrosion stuff on them so yeah i have to ping the bumper off which is going to be a pain i should really just not put any more on but i quite like them so yeah, i'll try and lacquer them see if they last a bit longer and typically a few spots of rain thank you very much so i've just pinged the uh, wheel trim away it's supposed to have a bolt there for some reason both sides have gone <laughs> I don't know where they've gone but anyway there's usually a bolt there you undo so yeah we've got a few clips you can ping out I've got four there unless I'm missing one I don't know but I can it's quite easy to get your fingers round behind the wheel arch trim so you can help push the clips out from the inside so that's one side done should go and do the other side and I can start pinging the bumper off God, you wouldn't guess that I detailed this um, engine bay recently. Bloody hell, where does it all come from? <laughs> Thought I might as well give the uh, battery a bit of juice. So I've just chucked these bits in some vapour rust, I think it's called. I've used it before, you're supposed to leave it overnight, but I see how much rust it removes, just leaving it for a few hours. Nice little mess to clean up this side. Left a nice little rust mark to clean up as well. You can tell I'm going all out with the detailing. The number plates are off. So while I've got those bits in the rust removal stuff, vapour rust or whatever it is, I might as well do the engine bay, uh, give them as long as I can in there and then I'll clean up down here and then put them back on because I need to move the car off the gravel so I can jack it up and take the wheels off so yeah I'm just trying to figure out what I can do while I'm waiting so yeah I think I'll do the inside of the bonnet and the engine bay. I tend to just use this stuff. It seems to work all right. Just try and avoid any big puddles on the way there.
There we go, she's looking a bit better now. I will come back to it, but it's, uh, it's got the main bit of crud off at the moment. So they've come up a little bit cleaner. I obviously haven't got the 24 hours or whatever it is that are supposed to soak them, but definitely cleaner. I noticed a few more of these are looking a bit tired. So luckily I had a few spares, so I've just done that one, that one, and I think this one from the other side. I shall have to stock up because I've got no more left now. So it's the next day now, and typically it rained overnight. We got some nice beading on the go. Right, so I've just got a bit of pinstripe tape to replace here and there. So I've got myself a bumper pack of these number plate screws and uh, little covers. I think it can be quite overlooked as like a nice finishing touch just to really smarten your car up and they're just dirt cheap anyway. So yeah, definitely a, a good thing to do.